Hi, I'm Brian Hayes. I'm a Salesforce and Pardot consultant with Rotive. We're an official Salesforce partner and we help small businesses automate their processes. This video you're about to watch is a lesson from our one hour Salesforce reporting crash course. If you find it helpful and if you wanna see the other lessons, you can see the full course at academy.rotive.io or by clicking the link in the description below. In this video, I'm gonna give you an overview of reports and dashboards in Salesforce. Now in Sales Cloud and Service Cloud, you've got two main pieces that help you understand your data in the system. Those are reports and dashboards, and it all starts with reports. A report allows you to query the database, pull back records, filter those records so you only get the ones that you want, and then group them. You can even add formulas and charts to those reports to help you understand the data that's in your system. Dashboards are really built on top of reports, or rather a dashboard is made up of multiple reports, different visualizations that you can add on a single screen to give you a holistic view of an area of your business. That's why it all starts with reports. If you don't have good reports that are built out that aren't already useful, they're not gonna be much use to you when you add them to a dashboard. And most of our time today will be focused on building effective reports quickly. Now, you're probably a system administrator in your Salesforce org. If that's the case, you already have the permissions to run reports and create dashboards. It is possible though, that you have other profiles in your system that don't yet have that permission. So just make sure that that profile has access to run those particular features. After having the ability to run features, another thing that's important to understand is data access. The data access rules for individual users still applies in reports and dashboards. So if you limit access to a particular field, let's say a commission field on an opportunity, maybe only certain people can see that dollar amount. Well, that's gonna be hidden from people who are looking at reports and dashboards as well. Now, there are some settings you can set when you create those reports to allow access to data that users wouldn't normally have, and we'll cover that later. But keep in mind, if you run it typically, if you run it as the user that's looking at the report, then they're only going to have access to the data that they should in the system, or at least that their profile gives them access to. The next thing to understand is how reports and dashboards themselves are accessed. Reports and dashboards use folders for sharing and for organization. I'm going to open up the reports tab here. And when you do that, you'll first see any recent reports that you've seen. And then on the left-hand side, you'll also see there's a little folders area here. If you click on all folders, you can see all the folders that you have, and you might have nested folders in here. Just remember that in order for somebody to access that dashboard or that report that you're about to build out, make sure that they have access to the folder that that particular report or dashboard is in. So if we look at key metrics, if you click that drop down arrow on the right hand side, there's a share menu. And that's how you can give extra access to people or just to certain people, depending on what you're working on. So another thing about reports and dashboards is they're actually considered metadata in the Salesforce ecosystem. What that means is that you can go to the app exchange and you can install ready-made reports and dashboards. And there's quite a few reporting packs that are available for free. So you don't have to start from scratch and it could be a great starting point, something you can customize to then better fit your business. Thanks for watching that lesson from the one hour Salesforce reporting crash course. If you'd like to see the other lessons, please go to academy.rotive.io or click the link in the description below. And if you found that helpful, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.